Let's now see how we can analyze the responses from our credit card processing to determine which transactions were approved and which were not. If you remember from a previous video in the cards controller, we have this logic in which we are determined if the transaction was approved or not by using some random value. So now we want to see which of the cards were denied. So for that, after the await, we can process the result of all of the tasks. If we hover here, you can see that the response type of this is HTTP response message. So we can say responses here equal to, and here we have an array of HTTP response messages. And we can iterate those responses and see which transactions were rejected. So for example, let's create a list. Let's say rejected card, new list of string. And now we're going to say for each response in responses, and we're going to do the following. We're going to say content equal to await response content read as a string async so that we can get the body of the HTTP response. Then we want to deserialize that response into a class. So let's create a class here. Right click here, add new class. I'm going to call it card response. It is going to be public and it is going to have two properties which are going to be the card and if it was approved or not. So I will say approve. And if you notice, these two properties here coincides with these two properties that we have here. So let's go here and now let's say bar response card, JSON convert, the serialized object and the data type is going to be car response and we're going to pass the content. And we're going to say if it wasn't approved, so response card, approve. Then we're going to say rejected cards at, and I am going to add the current card. So I will say response card dot card. Now with this, I have a list of all the cards that were rejected. What can I do with it? Well, for example, I could iterate them. I will say card over rejected cards. And I will say something like console right line card car was rejected. Now what we're doing here is that we're writing in the console this message. Now we need to convert our project so that along with the WinForm application, it displays a console. So let's go here, right click on WinForms, let's go to properties and let's go to output type and we're going to say console application. Let's save and now let's go back here and let's do one final change. I am going to change this to something smaller like 1000 and this to something smaller like 2500 so that we don't have to wait too much time for this example. And the idea is that now since I am awaiting this when all, I'm getting a response and I can process that response, for example, using a for each to determine which of the cards were rejected. Let's run this example. Let's press Ctrl F5 to run our application. And now, as you can see, we not only have the WinForm application, but we also have a console application in which we are going to be able to see any message that we write in the console in the WinForms application. So let's click on start. And after a few seconds, we can click on OK. And we're going to see that here we have the cards that were rejected, which means that with task when all, we can wait for all of the tasks to run and then we can do something with the response of all of those tasks.